What's up guys, I'm Kenny from Upscale Lures and if you're into fishing, design, or 3D printing, make sure to subscribe to my channel and put out a new video every single week. Today I'm going to be showing you how to assemble the 3D printed adjustable weight lipless crankbait. Let's get started. There we go, popped right out. Just like that, got it all cleaned up, no support on the bottom. We'll start out with the eyelets that I uh, got from Hobby Lobby and the split rings that I also got from Hobby Lobby. Which I was surprised they had them. I think it's uh, you know more for jewelry, but it does get the job done. After a couple days, I did notice these things start to rust, so you probably the best bet is to buy them online and buy like you know the official uh, eyelets and split rings for fishing lures. I'm just showing you guys that you can get it done, you know, without uh, shopping online. You know, you can just go to your uh, big box stores and uh, get get what you need to make it happen. You could also put a drop of epoxy or super glue on it to make sure you get a nice snug fit so yeah overall fairly easy process um, you can even do it right on shore before you go fishing if you haven't seen my last video you'll see uh, you'll see how this thing works with the adjustable weight I would have to say it's a pretty unique lure in on the fact of that you could fish it as a surface bait with no weight in it or if you add weight to it it will be a normal uh, diving uh, lipless crankbait you can control the sinking rate how fast you know how fast it sinks how deep it runs the last screw I in right on the bottom just want to go nice and easy with it nothing too crazy I have I've busted numerous amounts of eyelets all right there we go got that all set up next we'll put the split rings on that i also got from hobby lobby and again these are probably not the best split rings to be using not sure if these would hold up to a 10 pounder so your best bet is probably buying them online a little trick that i've used if you don't have a split rings players you take a hook and then you just kind of slide it between the two pieces of wire and it pops that open which makes it a makes it a little bit easier to get that that split ring on there we go you take the hook off and you twist it all around boom just like that i'm pretty sure these are they're silver silver plated they did actually have gold plated was it split rings and eyelets at Hobby Lobby. So if you want to get a little fancy with it, they do have those available. There we go. All right. They are a number 12 half inch sheet metal screw. If they do have stainless steel, I would definitely go with that because you don't want them rusting. But the best ones I could find at Home Depot had uh, zinc plated and these will work. Nice thing is that you're creating your own threads by putting this in here. So it's gonna be a nice tight fit. Might take a little bit of force. Just gotta be careful not to, not to stab yourself with it. Have to have a good uh, Phillips head screwdriver. There we go. I think it looks pretty good with that black and metal color. If you were to want to keep this as a surface bait, you're not gonna want any uh, weight in the lure, but if you want it to sink down like a regular lipless crankbait, you're going to want to add some uh, steel BBs. They're the caliber point one seven seven, so it's like the standard size. You know, we will be able to get these at Walmart or any you know sporting goods store, Dick, Scander Mountain, Dunham's. Today I'm fishing a Cory, so I'm going to want something a little bit uh, that goes a little bit deeper. So definitely gonna add uh, a couple BBs here. Six, seven, eight, and 10. So now I got this thing lock and loaded. Let's get this other 
another screw on. Might have to shake it around a little bit to uh, readjust the BBs in there so you can get the, uh, get the bolt all the way screwed in. Whew, that's looking good. There we go, I got both bolts in on the bottom and the top. Got that nice rattle. And all we gotta do now is add the hooks. And you know, the nice thing about building it yourself is you can kind of customize it to your liking. You can pick what size hooks you need. You can pick uh, the quality of the hooks. You know, do you, do you wanna spend, you know, three or four bucks on a hook or do you just want, you know, some standard hooks that are gonna get the job done, you know? So it all depends on, you know, what you're fishing for and uh, what you are looking for for your lipless crankbaits. There it is, guys, a fully assembled, 3D printed, adjustable weight lipless crankbait just like that pretty easy you can buy this stuff from all your local stores hobby lobby you can get them from home depot for the bolts and you can get hooks from walmart or any sporting goods store and you got yourself a fully functional adjustable weight lipless crankbait let's try this thing out right away Right away, you cannot you cannot beat that. You just feel that vibration. That thing is sinking down. That thing's wobbling back and forth. Whoo, that's pretty good. Leave all the links below for this lipless crankbait if you want to try it out. If you want to test it out. If you want to 3D print uh, five up or print a hundred up. Thank you guys for taking the time and watching the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. I put out a video every single week, more or less. It's usually on Wednesday, so you're definitely going to want to hit that bell notification so you know when it comes out. I really do appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.